We'll be live here before we're live there. Is it all live now? What do you mean? Uh, it's going to be here. Yeah. Are we live? I think we're live. It says we're live. Let's see. Okay. There we go. All right, I guess we're live. All right, one second. Is it actually recording? <laughs> it's like that or it's like really uh -uh. delayed. Yeah, it's it looks like it's delayed. But we are we are live, it looks like. Okay. So let me see on the phone. If we're live, we are live. Okay. I think this is it. <laughs> That's going to be really confusing. <laughs> What's confusing? I'm just not going to watch. Us, oh, because, because we're like way delayed. That's way delayed. Yeah, you scrape your face and watch. Because. All right. Well, we. There you go. <laughs> well, we can't worry about no, that. That's pretty awful. All right. So, wow. Let me see if we can get a better view so we don't have to watch that one. It's probably going to still do the same thing. Um. All right, guys, we're, we're just trying to get straight here. So if you come in, make sure you say, what's up? And um, yeah, so here we are. We're live on Tri-City Talks with Rock and Rick and the World Estate. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I'm going to try to share this, share this uh, so people can see where we're at. We're out here. Uh, while I'm doing that, if you would like to pray i'll do that we'll pray and we'll get started because we got some good stuff on the show this week all right here we go all righty dude well we thank you once again for allowing us to, to uh come together friends and family yes and uh lord we you know we consider ourselves and our friends and, and our family we consider ourselves all family we're a part of your family lord we thank you that you have, have uh, made it so that we can enjoy each other's company we have a few laughs, Lord. We learn about you. Yes. Um, we know that you that you love for us to be able to be with one another. I mean, and Lord, we know that you also love us to 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 have a happy outlook on life, a great day. You know, the, the humor part of our lives, Lord. We know that you love to hear us laugh, yes. just as just as we would love to hear our children laugh. And uh, Lord, we, we thank you for being such a wonderful, wonderful, caring, generous God, Lord. We pray right now that you will keep us all safe and happy, Lord, and, and, and healthy throughout these days, Lord. Anybody that, that is in need of your healing hand, Lord, we pray right now that you will touch them and give them comfort and peace. Lord, I pray right now that you will just watch over us all. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen, and amen. So welcome to all those who are here, who are on the show. Um. I think Mama Shirley is out there, Miss Sandra. I can't see really well. I'm having to look at my phone, guys, because it doesn't show me on Facebook here. Oh, there she is, there, Sandra. So um, we're excited. We got a good show tonight. We got a lot going on. What? Really big shoe. I can't even talk right, man. I'm so excited. I can't even talk right. You know, so we're we're hoping folks will come in and join us. We got a, like I said, we got a lot going on. A lot of stuff to talk about. Um, so what first? Usually I say what next? What oh, I don't, first? I don't know. There's so much to talk about. We got stuff going on in the area, right? Both things going on here and there. Let me get there because so we got a page now that we're using to be able to tell what's what. So we have Tri City Talks, which is what you're on now, yep. and that's where we do our shows. And our Tri City Talk <laughs> Traveling Trivia. trivia. Mm -hmm. uh, we do that on this page. So we moved all the announcements and things that are going on local to the Tri City Talks news page. That way it doesn't kind of jam up our page and you know you're not seeing all the stuff and trying to find what we're doing. So anyway, all that being said, Tri City Talks news go find that page okay you almost did traveling for me then. Uh, no i didn't actually actually so i'm gonna go to that page there's a lot of stuff out there that's going on coming up um and just kind of have to 
<laughs> flip through it anyway there's uh field days of the past is coming up it's not till september but it's really cool they have that out in amelia well it says amelia are they doing it because you know when we used to go it was out near rock yeah I don't know. so is that mm -hmm. the same location now? i don't know i'll have to find out i don't think i didn't so. read the book but, 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 but oh they could have because amelia is like on the other side of the river from, yeah okay so we'll find out <laughs> so um so anyway, uh, the information's out there. Field, field days of the past. I'm going to check it out. They always have a lot of good stuff going on. The coolest thing is they got good food. And there's these people that used to set up. I haven't been there since COVID. We haven't been part of it since COVID. But they sold corn meal sandwiches. Cornbread yeah. sandwiches. With, yeah, with, with turnip corn greens on, yeah. on the sandwich. Yeah, fried cornbread. Turn the middle, it was the best mm -hmm. the best but anyway we'll keep on moving um there's a couple things of uh, annual fall classic car show again that's not until october yeah, i bet they give you a heart attack really quick if you eat <laughs> i'm <laughs> sure i'm sure so um <laughs> it's that time of year we're getting close to county fairs coming up mm -hmm. i haven't done that yet oh. well i did i just said that's coming in october uh -huh. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So um, the Dinwiddie uh, County Fair is coming. That's mm -hmm. out there. You can check it out September 23rd through the 25th at the Motorsports Park, Virginia Motorsports Park, um, Chesterfield County Fair, August the 26th through September the 3rd. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to go. And there's information out, out, out on the page about what all's going to be. That's at the there. fairgrounds, right? It is at the they fairgrounds. They didn't move it to Amelia? No, they didn't move it to Amelia. <laughs> I mean, look, I got to make sure Chesterfield find Yes, County Fairgrounds. I know. I know. Okay. So, and uh, next weekend, if all you remember, two weeks ago, we had uh, John Reed on our show. And he talked with us about an event that he's doing this Saturday. It's going to be, it starts at eight o'clock, registration eight. If you want to ride, they're doing a ride. Um, the kicks kickstands up at 9 30. They'll be back before 11 o'clock. And 11 o'clock, they're going to have a ceremony for, to honor um, uh, donor, the donor family. Yeah, organ donor, donor family. So they're going to bring awareness to that. And John has a, uh, he has a, it's a sad but good testimony. And when it comes to life saving through organ donation, um, you know, and uh, one of the things that's really um, going to be worth going to hear is John's going to give his testimony, but so is the gentleman who received his son's heart. So um, that's going to be really, really um, just, just, it's going to be worth hearing. So if you can go to that, go to the ceremony, it's 11 o'clock Destination Church at um in Heffel. French so, Shores. French Shores, we call it's it. on the French Shores side. Prince okay. George. Anyway, so They're Destination up. Church, we also say that this is really messing me up. Like you, it's so delayed. Yeah, don't look at it. That's what I'm trying to look at. Look but at um it. anyway, so you want to go out for that. They're also gonna have some vendors out there <laughs> and some things going on. You delayed. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, so it's going to be really cool. So anyway, check it out Saturday. We're going to go. It's going to be awesome. We're going to do a couple little live things from there. Um, also, I post on the page, the news page, the Tri-City Talks News on Facebook, hurricane preparation. I like preparation H and like that, but <laughs> hurricane preparation, it is starting with an H. But anyway, this is for running hide. <laughs> yeah, this is what, the season is coming up. So step once, one, run, step two. don't look back. Don't look back. Um, we want you to be prepared. So anyway, just check out the page, uh, Tri City Talks News. There's there's a lot of stuff out there that's going on that's coming up. So anything that's coming up, we're going to put it there on that page. All righty. Awesome. Awesome. So what's next? Well, this cup is changing colors again. Oh my goodness! It started out blue, and right? The coffee and turns like red. Now it's cooling off. So it's changing. It. Okay. Orange, orange has got uranium in it. Uranium. Yeah. Do you remember when we were kids? You had glow in the dark marbles. Yeah. Or, or the, you know, it was glow in the dark balls. Right. They used 
traces of uranium in those. That's oh, why wow. they took them off the market. Because, yeah, I guess some some kid somewhere was eating marbles. Eating marbles. I don't know. That's yeah, crazy. Eating marbles is probably this is probably a pretty good sign. That, well, you know. All right. Well, that was funny. Warning from the night: Don't eat marbles and run when you see a hurricane coming. So, all right. Well, um, the other thing that we're going to talk about tonight, we got some some other stuff. We're gonna um, we're gonna talk about our contest, Tri City Talks Traveling Trivia Contest. Mm -hmm. We did some posts this past week. It was um, pretty cool. We did. We gave you a clue last Monday night. And then we went out and did a video and we posted it at seven o'clock on Tuesday night. Uh, we've had some folks answer. We had different ones. I, I posted on the page today a list of people that interacted with the Tri-City Talk Travel Traveling Trivia Contest. And on that, I listed um, everybody that liked, shared, comment on the page because we, we're going to give away a card for that, a gas card. 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 Yeah. Card. We're not giving a card. Card. <laughs> I'm not Bob Barker. <laughs> We're giving. <laughs> but if you give away a card, be a vet, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, you may. <laughs> you may. <laughs> All right, hey Brittany, Brittany joined us. Um, Brittany said say bird, bird. <laughs> bird, bird. Uh, bird. all right so anyway we're, we're kind of doing stuff as we go with this game it's it's fun it's our show and we can do what we want to do <laughs> yeah. anyway but um <laughs> as it works out and it's only going to be for your benefit so with the show originally we started out we we're going to have two winners we're gonna have two winners. We are gonna have a winner for the, the person that gets the most answers correct when we do right. the post each week. Mm -hmm. There are gonna be five posts, five things to guess. And we're gonna have a winner for the person that shares the post, likes the post, and comments on the post the most. Boy, that's wow. a tongue twister. <laughs> for a host. <laughs> anyway. So um, we want you to make sure you do that. And I'm keeping score. I'm keeping a tally. And uh, this week, what happened was really cool. We partnered with Marco's Pizza. Yeah, That's yeah. right. Huh? Yeah, no, I know. I know. It's, it's so delayed. Bad. It's delayed. There yeah. we go. It's there. <laughs> but you know, the magic is they have no idea it's delayed. I know. Only we do. Oh. <laughs> But um, so anyway, so we did partner with Marco's Pizza. Thank you, Marco's Pizza, for partnering with us. I have five, count them, five, I think, five gift certificates here. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, okay, so five. Anyway, I got five here that we're going to give away. And what we're going to do with that is each week we're going to tally up the likes and the shares and the comments on the Tri-City Talks traveling mm -hmm. trivia post and we're going to do a winner a week boy this uh, who came up with this game the triple t contest um so anyway we're going to spin the mm -hmm. wheel here in a minute to find out for this week who's going to win one of the marco's gift certificates and it's for a free medium specialty pizza mm -hmm. so we're going to do that here in just a minute. We'll talk a little bit more about travel and trivia and what, what we're doing with it. So um, last week, we put the post out there, the, 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 the first clue, and everybody jumped right on it. And then when we actually put where we were, nobody even commented for a day. Yeah, that was a, that was a nice video. It was a good video. We did well. Yeah. It was a good clue, and no one commented. It was a bit buggy. It, it was it was <laughs> but um so anyway we're gonna do it a little bit different this week so we're gonna post a picture tonight we're not gonna tell you the clue but we're gonna post a picture tonight um feel free to guess if you know what it is um and then wednesday i think yeah we're gonna post another picture another 
And then if you don't, if no one's getting it by. Piclu. Yeah, piclu. That's a new word. Piclu. If no one's getting it by Friday, then we'll post a clue. But all the clues were posted at 7 p.m. because we want everyone to have a chance to see it at the same time because most people work during the day. If you work during the night, sorry about your luck. You're just going to have to log in at 7 to see the post real quick. Yeah. So, um, and then again, what we want you to do is definitely really, really make sure you're liking and commenting and posting. And it's so cool because I got to say, you guys, all right, I put the numbers out there earlier. Who had done what? And I got a spinning wheel over here beside me. To, I was going to build one of those big ones like Bob Barker used to have one. Oh, what? Well, just going to have them on prices, right? You know. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got sound effects. Yeah. I'm trying to find a list. So I did a list. The lumber was expensive. So we got this. The lumber. Oh, they're so goofy. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to show you this. I did a thing and put it out there today with all the people who were commented and posted and whatever. And it's got everybody's name on it. I don't know if you can see it. And I can't tell because. My thing is so delayed, but anyway, there it is. Hopefully you can see it. Um, so all the names are out there. Everyone that, that commented and liked and shared and whatever. So we're going to spin the wheel for a winner for the gift certificate. Okay. Um, now I've already started posting posts for week two. Look for the posts. They say um, week two, post one, week two, post three, week two, post whatever. So you should feel like a movie star. I have you on my TV. Mm, All right. So we're movie stars. Mm, Evidently. Are. Brittany says we're movie stars because we're on her television. So, all right. So anyway, we're going to get ready to spin the wheel. We're going to give away one certificate now and then each week. So what we'll do is we'll take these totals that we put on Facebook tonight from last week. We'll keep them in each week. You know, we'll tally them up at the end of the term. The end of the thing to find out who's going to win the get, get gas card, but everyone each week that comments and likes and shares and does all that good stuff, you get a chance to win a coupon. All right. All righty. So we're going to get ready to spin the wheel. While we're doing that, I'm just going to let you know we're going to have each week we're going to try to do something different, a little special. This week, um, you get double points if every post you share, you hashtag Tri City Talks Traveling Trivia. Got that? So we want you to make sure you hashtag Tricity Talks Charlotte Trivia. That way I can just go to the hashtag and see everything that everybody posted. And, and the purpose of this doing this contest is one, it's fun and we, we like doing it, but we're trying to build up our uh, viewership. viewership. We want to get more people on because we got lots of great things coming and stuff we want to do. So I want you to share, like, page, invite people to join. So this week, if you hashtag Tri City Talks Traveling Trivia, you're going to get double points. Now, what I wanted to say was we have um, someone who started last week. She only posted once. Her name is Tamara Robertson. Well, I'm going to tell you guys, I'll put post out there today, and dude, she is smoking. She has already posted and liked and commented and shared, and she's actually ahead of everybody right now. So y'all need to get on the ball. It's half a bajillion. Is it close to that? That's a half a bajillion. <laughs> <laughs> so um, our our leader today when I made the, the post was Rebecca. She had 17 and then Patty was right behind her with 16 and so on and so on and so on. Oh, I, I did guess for a while. You guessed it? Yeah, I, I finally figured out it was on it was Thursday. I figured out where we were. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know where we were. Uh, well, Patty joined us. Thanks for joining us, Patty. <laughs> she says I'm late as usual. That's okay. You haven't you haven't missed the good stuff. So, all right. Without further ado, I'm going to share our screen. So I got to get back to that. Hold on. Um, I'm going to share. Now you've done it. He is doing live stream. God. Okay. Mm. I'm going to try to share our screen with you. Hopefully, you can see it. And I'm going to watch on my Facebook page so I can make sure that it's up there. So bear with me here, guys. We're learning this technical stuff, okay? All right, so, all right, here we go. I'm gonna share my screen. Hopefully you can see it. All right, I'm watching watching my phone to make sure you can see it. Try some talks for See, Pat, Patty's already hashtagging for us. Very good. All right, so you guys can see the screen. So this is our spinny wheel. Better click, click before it stops. It didn't start. I know. Okay, anyway, 
So no, I mean before our before the Zoom. <laughs> okay, well, Patty says she sees it, so we're gonna spin it. So this is everybody. Yeah, we're kind of freezing up here. This is this is everybody. No, we're not. We're there, but there. Okay, everybody that likes, shared, and commented. All right, I'm gonna spin the wheel. We're gonna see who won. Okay. Oh my God. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning. Playing some cool music too. All right, so our winner tonight is who won to pick Kim Strotman. All right, congratulations. You didn't like that? You didn't know? That scared you. The thing came out of the screen. It was like 3D. <laughs> so Kim won this week's <laughs> gift certificate for a free medium specialty pizza. So you guys keep playing, keep watching all that good stuff. And I'm going to stop sharing the screen and bring it back to us. Our winner was Kim Strotman. Somebody tag her and congratulate her. It looks not delayed now. <laughs> Do you notice that? Oh, it's not. No. That's weird. Oh, that's because we're on Zoom, not on Facebook. Right. So, all right. So, okay. so now we can see what we're doing. That does oh, make it. That does make it easier. All right. Yeah, so, all right. Hold on. Brittany made a comment. Thank you for congratulating Patty, Kim, Kim, Patty, Patty, Kim. What? Anyway, oh. Brittany says you've got talkative Tina with tricky talks, oh. travel, and trivia. Spinning the tie dye trivia wheel winner wheel. Okay. Uh, you're a jabber box, is what she's saying. Uh, jabber no, box. No, I'm, I, I drank soda today mm -hmm. and I don't usually. So, anyway, um, we're going to tag Kim. We're going to send her a gift certificate. So, keep playing this week so you can win, uh, have a chance to win the gift certificate next week. And I do want to thank all of you who liked, shared, and commented on our post. Again, y'all better get to rocking and rolling because Tamara's giving you some, some, you know, she's bringing on the heat, baby. She's bringing on the heat. So uh, y'all want to just uh, go out there and, and check it out. I'll do a midweek update and I'll let you know where the numbers are at. That's right. <laughs> a midweek update. So just, just watch and check it out and share and help us build up our viewership. Again, I was saying we're going to have something special next week another gift certificate we're going to give away. I'm not telling you what it is or what you're going to have to do to get it, but you got to tune in. Check it out. Okay. All right, what's next? Well, I had some sad news today. I know. Uh, Olivia Newton-John passed away. Yeah. She was 73. Um, you know, she was in one of our favorite movies. She was in one of our favorite movies. talking about Xanadu. I did not like Xanadu. <laughs> No, it's not Xandu. <laughs> of course, it was Greece. Greece was a great movie. Uh, it came out in 1978. You know, Xandu came out in 1980, and not everything from the 80s was awesome. Oh, I know it. I know it. I Most know things it. were, but Xandu was not one of the awesome no, things in the 80s. No, it wasn't. But anyway, it had Michael Beckett. You remember that? You remember Michael Beckett was, right? He was no. a tough guy. I remember the movie The Warriors. He was a tough guy, and he was a game leader in there. Anyway, so he ended up on Xandu. That just that ruined his career right there. His yes. Cred was, his cred was gone. That's a tough guy. Anyway. He's um, muffled. Brittany says, can't hear pops. He's muffled. Yeah, well. We'll do the best we can. So let us know if, if it's any better. I don't know. That so, might be better. We'll try that and see if it's any better. Yeah. So anyways. Um, I'm going to go through our list of national days. Okay. So, but you didn't. Well, I mean, you didn't tell what the best movie was. I said it was Greece, of okay. course. Were well, you not listening? Evidently not. I was looking at the comments. Was I muffled when I said that? You might have been. You might have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, of course, it was Greece. Greece was a great movie. Greece was not a great movie. Greece. So, that was a good movie. And yeah. Anyway, all right. Sorry. Go through your national days. I'm done. I, I, it was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> you said right next to me. It's amazing. All right. So here are the list of national, national days Day. for August the 8th. First one is Global Sleep Under the Stars Night. Oh, that sounds nice. It's hot and buggy outside. <laughs> when I was a kid, it was okay. Um, then we have National CBD Day. 
National Dollar Day. National CBD Day. Yeah. She says that uh, the U.S. monetary system was created today in 1786. Wow. Implemented probably. So right, right, right. Created. I'm sure it took more than a day. Uh, it didn't take didn't take long to destroy our monetary system. But anyway, no, that's a different story for a different show. Uh, National Frozen Custard Day. They no, always uh, do some kind of food. Yep, that's because food is important. We, we live with food. Junk food. It's important. Because most of it is junk it's, food. It's important. It's junk food is important. Uh, okay. Because um, it brings happiness, and this happens to be National Happiness Happens Day. Happiness happens on Tri City Talk Travel Trivia. It's because of the frozen custard. See? See, see. <laughs> and then this one, I, I'm baffled. I don't understand this, but it does give an explanation. It's sneak some zucchini into your neighbor's porch today. I know exactly what that's for because Trudy and George Tower have so much zucchini, it's coming out of their ears mm. and they're sick of it. So they're going to sneak as much as they can in their neighbor's porch so they don't have to have it. Oh, uh, okay. That's that. So if you go out on your porch and there's zucchini there, it's not an alien. It's, it's a vegetable. It's a zucchini fairy. It's a vegetable. Delivering you. It's mm. blessings from heaven. Zucchini fairy. Blessings from heaven. Man, why did I get the zucchini fairy? <laughs> I get the stupid job. <laughs> That's not the stupid job. Well, I wanted to say something. Patty made a comment when we were talking about Greece and Sandy, mm -hmm. and she said that you are the the uh he is the Danny to your Sandy. Oh, that's cool. So that's super sweet. That's cool. You were kind of a nerd in school for a little bit. You know? But Danny was a nerd. He turned into a nerd for a little bit. Oh, he did, right? See, how, how well do you know your movie? You don't. You forgot he was well, a nerd. I, was, I, I didn't mind being a nerd. I had fun. Although I was a lot like Sandy when we met the first time. But yeah, that's for a well, different show. When I was in school, I was a, I was a, a preppy pothead nerd jock awesome i did it all so you did the peas all the peas yeah that's what it was <laughs> so anyway uh, i can hang out with everybody you could <laughs> so right. that being said all right you keep shaking the table and we're jiggling oh, all over the place no you should be no it's not me it's just you shaking all right so you did, all, right. did all the national days, did all the national days. And what do you have next now? Uh, what do I have next? Mm -hmm. Um, what do I have next? I, I, I have a couple of things. Let me put my paper. Okay, so a couple of little jokes here. We're gonna do a couple of dumb corny jokes, okay? And then okay. we're gonna get to it because we have to talk about our our winner who won the guest for last week. Yes. And the way the contest runs is it goes from Monday to Sunday. So all your likes and comments, whatever on the post, go through midnight Sunday night. So all the likes and comments and posts today on the week two post will be calculated for this week. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. All right. So a joke. You got it? What? It's like Monday at 7 o'clock to Monday at 7 o'clock p.m. Well, it should be. But, but because I'll start putting new posts on Sunday, Monday. I don't like yours. Okay, then we'll do <laughs> Y'all gonna get your points. Whatever you like, it's either we'll go on last week or this week, but you will get your points, okay? Look. All right, so let me tell a van. I mean a van. No. That was part of the answer. Let me tell a joke. Is Mr. Racini up there? All right, no, sorry, so I gave it away. What kind of car does Mickey Mouse's girlfriend drive? a van. Mickey Mouse's girlfriend. Um, does she identifies a girl still. Yes, for this joke, she does. Okay. Well, um, a van. Seriously, I gave you half the answer. Mini van. Oh, yes. yes, I'm a mini wow. van. Wow, man, <laughs> you're way out there. I just out there. Oh my goodness. Oh, Disney's got me. Disney, Disney's got me befuddled. <laughs> All right, so um. um still identifies this. I don't know. I don't know if they do or not. Okay. So how did how do you know if it was an emotional wedding? 
I hate these jokes. I hate jokes. The cake would be in tears. Oh. See, uh -huh. this is spelled, it's spelled different than the right than the correct word. And, you know, that, words, and that's, say it. Go words, ahead, say it. Words matter. Words matter. So that's a great example of words matter. That's right. Let me say that joke again. That way we get the. That was a segue. Thing. Almost. It's kind of, no, it's like a foreshadow. That's what it is. Yeah, right, foreshadow. So, uh, see, Patty got it. Tears. She got it. Mm -hmm. um, how do you know if it was an emotional wedding? The cake would be in tears. C E A R S. Yes, not T I E R S. Uh, right. All right, I'm going to do one more joke, then we can get to the rest of it because um, I don't want to lose folks. And we want to announce our winner here in a minute. All right. Yeah. Uh, what is easy to get into and hard to get out of? Yeah. That's true. That, that's a good one. But that's, that's not the answer. Not that's not funny. But that's not the answer. Beep. Wrong. Bah, wrong. Um, an escalator. But you don't really get into it. You, you get don't get on in that Exactly. Words matter. Words matter. Yeah, it's hard to get off because the power goes Caddy got it right. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Trouble. Oh, uh, well, see, that's a debt. That's trouble. That's well, financial trouble. It is trouble, but that wasn't the answer. I some points. Half points. You, like get, half points. you get nothing. Nothing. I'm surprised you drink all your coffee. Mm -hmm. So, where, where are we going next? We're going to go into to, what are we doing? Well, we can, we can talk about the winner. Segue into our little thing we're going to talk about tonight. Okay. All right. Well, before we do that, I just want to I just want to share this with people. I know you said, oh, oh I said nothing. You can do whatever you want to do. This is my book, Faith Builders. This is a book I wrote eight years ago. It's been eight years. Eight One years. eight years, eight long years. And when the Lord, oh, when I wrote this book, the Lord told me I was going to write another book. Well, guess what? We're in the process. We'll write another book. Took you eight years. Yeah. You know, I've often wondered that. And it's funny because um, I heard a pastor talk about that Sunday about the Israelites. It only took them four years. Took them four years. Yeah, I, I actually thought about that. But no, hopefully it won't take four years. Although this book was written in 40 days, which was really cool. But um, anyway, this Faith Builders Blueprints for a Stronger Foundation. The next book will be Faith Builders 2, Equipped to Read the Blueprints. Question mark. So, um, and we're working on that. Lord's doing a lot through it. There's a link on uh, Tri-City Talks news page, or actually, no, it's on Tri-City Talks page, where you can go out and you can follow me on Facebook mm -hmm. as I write the book, put stuff out there, how God's working, what he's doing. If you don't have a copy of the book and would like one, um, we'll set up a time and a place where you can meet us somewhere. We'll do something. Send me a message. We'll figure it out and we'll get you a copy of the book. Cool. All righty. So, all right. What were I going to get out? I'm just kidding. That's all right. No, don't clutter. Don't clutter my desk. I've got a stack of stuff here. Like Rush Limbaugh. So. Oh, thank you, Patty. <laughs> she said that um, it's a great read. Cool. All right, so I've heard people say once they start reading it, they have a hard time putting it down, which is good. It is good. It's a that's a blessing to me. That's yeah, when, you know, when inspirational. You find, you find a book that you're interested in like that, it's pretty cool. So it's um yeah, it's pretty cool. It, it you know that's a blessing. I have had a lot of people tell me that. Mm -hmm. So um anyway, but again, we've got we've got some copies left. So if anybody would like to have one, just let me know, send mm -hmm. us a message in, and I'll work out a way to get one to you, and then that way you'll be up to date. For the second one that comes out and the information is going to be in there it's going to be a good it's going to be another good one a lot of good stuff in there so anyway about our contest all right so as we go into the contest and what we're doing you have to remember when you're guessing and we want you to guess often guess a lot and if you know something about the lo location where we're at whatever it is or you think you know the more information the better because we want to know what you know um but words matter so with that being said, everybody guessed the Appomattox River. The first clue was it connects the Tri-Cities, which the Appomattox River was a great 
answer. Because it, it does, in fact, connect the tri-cities. It does connect the tri-cities. It if does. You can, if you can swim. Uh -huh. I'm not good at that. If you, read, <laughs> if you read my book, you'll find the story in there that talks about me almost drowning. Yeah, but if, so, it was, if it's a river, they actually have to have to swim for connect the tri-cities. Exactly. Because you'd have to swim. Swim from, yeah. Kind of yeah. Or sort. use a boat. Or you could do what? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could walk. Okay. <laughs> so you go in there with that? You, no, gonna... you, can, you can keep on with that. No, you can, you can go. Yeah, because, well, what guesses did you get that, was, that were close? So we got um, a lot of people put the Appomattox River, which was a great mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. And honestly, when we were doing the contest, I was thinking about what we were going to do the contest on. I didn't even think about the Appomattox River, which was kind of dumb because of oh, what yeah. we were doing the contest on. Mm -hmm. um, but well, the, the, um, I think Rebecca guessed um, the river walk. And then Brittany guessed the river walk. Mm -hmm. um, and words matter. Yes. Yes. You got to get the right words of what it is. Yeah. Um, and it's actually called the Appomattox River Trail. Trail. River yeah. Trail. So if you did not guess Appomattox River Trail, you did not get the answer correct. That's right. Because it starts in City Point. Yeah. Well, well. Yeah. Not a city park where the river walk starts at. Right. And there is a river walk there. There's, there's also a river walk. It's also, but it, but it starts in City Point and goes along the river. It goes through neighborhoods in Hopewell, goes through Prince George, right? Yep. It goes up to Petersburg. Yep. Up near the dam. Right. Uh, at Lake Chesden. Comes back down through Chesterfield and Dim or Dinwiddie. Right there, Dinwiddie, mm -hmm. on the Dinwiddie side near the Chesden. And um, then across the Chesterfield and through Clarence Heights. So it it actually joins the Tri-Cities and three counties. Right. So, but the Appomattox River Trail is what Appomattox it's called. Appomattox River Trail. Yeah. And I'm trying to post the link, but it will not let me post it. So I'll have to post it afterwards. And that's what we're looking for. Uh, the river walk is so good, yes. Yeah, the river, yeah. river walk. Now, so what we're going to do, because... We weren't specific in our directions at the very beginning that words matter. Um, we are being specific now. So words matter as we move forward. Um, since Rebecca and Brittany both guessed River Walk, mm -hmm. um, and Brittany put a little bit of information with hers because y'all both guessed it, we're going to give each one of you a point. So um and from this point there are no 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 gimmies no no freebies no throw me a bone it's not happening guys <laughs> words matter <laughs> so from this point you got to get it right i have i'll live my life listening to him tell me words matter and it drives me crazy yeah, but so it makes a point an occupational hazard but he, he does have a point and you got to be careful when you yes. tell him to do something, you know, if you're not specific about what it should be, then you get what you ask for. That's right. And it's bad sometimes. So um, it is what you ask for. It is what you ask for. <laughs> so for tonight, so what we got, Kim Strutman won the, uh, the gift certificate and Rebecca and Brittany both have points towards the first clue. Um, the next clue we're going to do, mm. again, we're going to post a picture tonight. We'll post on picture Wednesday night at seven. If people don't have the answer, we're going to post a clue on. Well, regardless, we'll post another clue on Friday night at seven. Um, and y'all make sure you like, share, and do all that good stuff with the post. And we'll, we'll let people know how that's going. Um, oh, and the double pointer this week is share all the posts and hashtag Tri City Talks Travel and Tribute. Yep. Is that with or without the dash? dash, dash. It's without the dash. Okay. It's like an ongoing word. Oh, one whole word without the dash. One whole word without the dash. Yep. 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 All right. That would, that would really mess up. It would mess up. So, all right. I'm going to segue us into this next thing. Well, I, before you read that first one. I well, I'm not going to read any. Up. I'm not. I'm not. I got to here to be prepared. So, I was just going to say because we're talking about words matter and they do matter, it's a big deal. 
we thought we would do our talk tonight, our discussion, our lesson about words matter and how that lines up with some stuff in the Bible. So yeah, this is one little segment of how words matter. But this is something that we talked about. You shake and take again. We talked about several times. Right. And um um I, I would I'm, it's not really a, a pet peeve of mine. It is more of a concern about people about what the way people think of things. Right. And I know it's coming from from the emotional human side of things, not the spiritual yeah. person side of things. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because of the, the you know the spiritual side sometimes is not what the emotional man side is supposed to be. Right. And vice versa. So but we'll they'll understand more when we get to that point. Okay. Well take it away. All right. So um you know in Genesis, speaking of words, in Genesis in the creation story. I'm trying to get this where you can be seen because it's only happening. I, I, I don't know. I just gotta lean forward so I don't not muffle. <laughs> okay. I just have to be Try to be still. Anyway, um, yeah, in the creation story, we find that when God created everything, He created everything with words. Right. He spoke everything into existence. Yes. So, um, that being said, if it wasn't, you know, words mattered to the point to God to the point where when He spoke it, it happened. Right? Yes. Um, and we have a couple of more examples of this, but uh, so um, if you want, go ahead and read that first scripture. First scripture. Yeah, All right. So the first scripture is. Um, let me try to adjust this so we can see. See, we're good. Okay. So the first scripture is Hebrews eleven three, mm -hmm. and it says, "By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible." Right. So, you know, um, that's just another example of how God created things. We have to have faith in that. That's right. And, um, you know, our, what we speak and what we really believe, sometimes our heart is not where we need to be with what we say. Right. We can say that all day long. I know God did this and I know God did that. But sometimes your heart says, man, did, did that really happen or did? Is he really looking after me? Things like that. That's where the word, the words are important to where the words that you speak need to be the truth right. so that your faith does not wane. Exactly. Does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. Okay. So, and that's, that was just one of the examples of, I, mean, I don't, you don't know who wrote Hebrews uh, or exactly who they were written to. We know there was written to a group of Christians that was, they were having some problems. Um, they were, not Christians, they were Jews that believed that Christ was the Messiah, which right. I guess would really be Christians. We call them, you know, would really be Christians, but they're actually, they were actually Jews that believed in Christ. But um, <clears throat> that being said, like I say, that's, that was, a, they, they had problems with faith back then. You know, um, so I know a lot of times we say, well, you know, it must have been a lot easier to believe in things. Well, back then, not even, not even then. Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, so in today's world with so much hustle, bustle, and just craziness going on sometimes, um, it's important that we understand what we speak and how we speak to yeah, others. Yeah. Um and so, yeah, and, and like I say, once again, the words that God spoke was our creation. Right. Um so anything, anytime he speaks, things happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? He speaks stuff into existence. All right. Then what's the, the next scripture in here? All right. The next scripture is Second Timothy, uh, chapter three, verses sixteen and seventeen. It says, "All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness." So that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Right. So here we find that God's word, anytime he speaks, and the words that he's spoken in the past that, that are recorded in the Bible, the Holy Bible, which is what we as Christians use. The Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. Uh, that is God speaking. That's that's how we 
we know that we know that we're right when we can, when we speak what God has spoken in the right, past. Right. Um, and also, which is kind of cool because you don't really think about it, but as as Timothy said in there, it's it's the word God's word is is it's been pre-checked, it's ready to go. This is what God said. We're going to teach you this. You can use it in your training. You can use it in preaching. You can use it talking to others. Right. And and it's 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 good, and it's it's righteous, right? Absolutely. Um, now here's where we get into the, the main star of the night, is John. Um, John kind of got a lot of things to get into. Uh, but we're going to hit a few, a few of his scriptures. And um, I guess we're going to do the first one first. Okay. So John 1.1 1, 1 reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Right. And if you notice in there, the word "word" is actually capital. It is because because the word that God spoke is is an extension of Himself. Okay. Right. You know what okay. I mean. And so it actually says the word was with God because mm -hmm. He always had it in Him. Right. And it's hard to think about always being <laughs> back behind you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then, but when He spoke it, it was an extension of Himself, but it was actually Him. Right. So it's it's just kind of hard to, to yeah, grasp yeah. that. You kind know? of like the Trinity is hard to grasp because yeah, like, in the Holy Ghost, this is God and the Word is being, you know, it, it's it's with Him, it's in God, you know. Right. And you kind of think about it. Can, can you see God in one glance, you know, or does it take forever to he see says Him? It's only him now. Okay. Um, singular, so you have to kind of sit there. I'm trying. We're trying. <laughs> And I'm trying. This microphone is not good. We got to readjust it again. We probably so. need to. Yeah. Well, we just need to readjust it. Anyways, we can go off of this and go live on Facebook directly. I'm not. No, we'll do this because okay. I'm going to kind of know. It. Anyways, so read the next scripture. All right, anyway. the next scripture is John 14 6 through seven. It's. No. Uh huh. John 114. It's not on the list. I'll pull it up. Hold on. Mm. I got it. I got it. I didn't see it on the list. All right. Hold on, guys. Got to get a scripture. Got to get a scripture. So um, let's see. John 1.14. Yep. All right. So John 1.14. Um, okay. It says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we saw his glory, glory as of the only begotten from him, the father, uh, full of grace and truth. Now, that was a new American standard. Do you want that or NIV? No, no, it's, it says the same thing. It's, it's um, th this says, talks about when, you know, because you, 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 you touched on a minute ago, you talk about the Trinity. Right. With, with uh, you know, God, the father, God, the son, and God, the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. So this is, at this point, this is when the son which is God, which is the word, it says the word became flesh. That's when Jesus came and dwelt among us. So that's when he came as a man. As a man, yep. Okay. To teach us, to teach us and to, to, to fix all the stuff that we messed up. You know what I mean? And um, in the next scripture, um, the next scripture talks about that. If you want to read that. Okay, so um john 14 6 and 7 says yep. jesus answered i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me if you really know me you will know my father as well from now on you do know him and have seen him right okay so this is kind of where it gets into the meat of the subject that we're that we're that we're thinking about um you know a lot of it, it kind of it's it's um, a little distressing sometimes when you you hear people say, and I know it's all out of human emotion because you know, people can, people's concern or or their sadness or whatever. If somebody passes away, you know, somebody says, "Well, I'll see them again in heaven," and even even if you know they didn't live on earth as they should have to get to heaven, 
Right. You know, if they were not living a, a godly life, uh, if people didn't have really know Jesus as their savior, if they didn't confess their sins, you know, they would still say, um, people still think they're, well, I'm going to see them again in heaven. Yeah. And, and I hate to say it, but most times, a lot of times you're not. You're just, you you, you kind of know in the back of your mind that you're, as a Christian, you're like, I know they weren't living that life. And unless they uh, did a deathbed confessional and, you know, change the life around, right. you know, it's very sad, but it's not going to happen. You're right. You know, it's, it's sad. And, and the, once you once you pass over that line and your soul is gone, it, it's not coming back. You know, um, but. You know, I know it's a really touchy subject. A lot of people don't like talking about this. And, and, and sometimes, you know, I don't like talking about bad news and stuff either. I like talking about the good news. Well, and the, the thing with that is, that, and I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I, people have a, and I guess I'm, I'm looking at this as, you know, the words matter relating. Where people get confused is a lot of people have the misinformation or uh, I don't know if they've been misinformed through their life or a misconception of how this works when you talk about this on the way, the truth, and life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Right. People go through life thinking, well, I'm a really good person. I'm a really good person, or, you know, she sure was a good person. Yeah. But you know that she never went to church a day in her life, and, and only God knows if she was ever saved. But we can't get through life being good people. We want to be good people through Jesus Christ, through our Father, through what it says here. If we're good people and we never accepted Jesus into our heart, we're not going to heaven. That's right. You know, there's that old saying, it's the road to hell is paved with good intentions. It certainly is. Or good deeds, however you want yeah, to say it. Yeah, it's, it, it truly is. And because you know people think well i can just do this and, and one of these days i can get myself straightened out i can get my life straight or whatever there's no time like the present to do that yeah but when you have loved ones and this is and this is a big one for me too because i i, I do struggle with this too with uh you know friends family whatever people that i know are not living a godly life yeah um We'll read the next scripture. This is the last scripture we've got, okay. and then we'll touch on that. Okay. Then, then we've got time. All right. So the last scripture is James 1, 22. Mm -hmm. uh, do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. That's right. So that being said, you know, the word tells us that we are to, are to learn everything we can, but we're to share the gospel of Jesus throughout That's the right. land. That's right. So what's the Great Commission? You know the Great Commission, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's we are to spread God's word and God's love throughout the land, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Here, not just not just to missionaries in some remote location in the world, but here in our own backyard, yeah. people we know, people we see every day, you know, um, that you know that you know deep down in your heart they're not living a godly life, and if they died today, they'd probably not make it to heaven. That's right? right. That's right. That's part of, a, of us deceiving ourselves. Right. We're becoming our own deceiver when we when we don't take the word of, you know the the word that was related to James to not just hear the word but to act upon it yeah. and to talk to others and tell them that way you can truly say oh I'll see them again one day in heaven because you'll know yeah. you'll know that you know yeah, that you know. know that they were saved and they lived a godly life and they will definitely be in heaven. Um, and, and hopefully they will have, they will have been a follower of Christ for such a long time that their, their riches are stored up in heaven beyond your wildest dreams. That's right. That's right. Because then, so there's no time like the present to talk to people. Exactly. And this is something that I really do struggle with is that I struggle with probably James one twenty two is probably a, a, that is a, uh, a thorn in my side that I put there myself because I don't do what that says. And it's hard. As often it's hard. As I well, should. well, what I want to touch on is in talking about that, the worst people to talk to, and nobody take offense to this, yeah. but the worst people to talk to are family. Yes. Our family are the worst ones to talk to, to have to share. I can go talk to a stranger all day long and talk about Jesus Christ. 
But when it comes time for me to talk to one of my family members or one of my kids, I really struggle with that. Um, and, and what I want to say about this is, you know, you mentioned the Great Commission mm -hmm. and talks about here, go there, form your disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I command you to do. And right. that goes back here. Don't, mm -hmm. you know, James 1, 22, do not merely listen to the word. As you just see yourselves, we've got to do what it says. And then here it says that we've got to go out and uh, make disciples of people, teach them, you know, and, and observe the commandments and do what God's telling us to do. And one of the things the Lord's really been dealing with me lately on, and he showed me this during prayer time last week, is, you know, we have to um, be the Great Commission. We've got to go out right. and we've got to tell people. I mean, um, the people that are in church, they're where they need to be, where they need to be. You know, we can minister to them, but we want to go out in the streets. We want to be the church outside of the building. And we want to minister to people. But one of the things I really struggle with and that God has, God has shown me in the last few days is, um, you know, if you, if, and I'm just going to say it. So people sue me, kids, y'all sue me. My kids came up in church. They know the Lord. They've had a relationship with the Lord. You know, um, they've walked a walk you know and um trying to to talk to the kids and say hey guys you know um let's let's do this now the, what they do on their own time i don't know where they're at in their walk i'm just using my kids as an example because i can kind of share a little bit better but if you've got a family member in your family that you see they were once where they needed to be in christ they were walking a good life and for whatever reason because it happens to us all. It happened to us. You know, we were at a point in our lives where we just walked away from God. And it, it wasn't even intentional. No. But we walked away. We got wrapped up in things of the world. And see, that's how the enemy comes in. He comes in to kill, steal, and destroy. Yep. You know, like a thief in the night. Like in the night. Mm -hmm. And that's what and that's what happens, you know. And I think that's that's what um that's what happened in, in our situation but you know when you look at your kids and you look at your family your brothers and your sisters and if they come up knowing god and they know who, who he was and they've walked away i believe it is our responsibility our duty you know as as christians is you know to suck it up and and talk to them uh, and share the word of god because of their family they should be the ones that we definitely go to because we love them so much you know we love everybody and we want to share god's word don't get me wrong we want to plant the seeds for the harvest but what the lord's been showing me is we got to get our friends and our family you've got some really good friends you know that you were friends with as a as a teenager and y'all went to church together you did all these things and you know you don't know where they're at right now but we need to make sure that they're where they need to be with christ and if god is calling us to share this with them you can't worry about what they're going to say or what they're going to think, but just know that if God is calling you to it, then you have to walk through it. Right. And what the Lord's been showing me is that we've got to build an army. Like the world's in a bad place right now. And we need as many uh, kingdom minded people that are going to go out and do the work and the will of the Lord to plant seeds for the harvest for all these people who are not saved and because there are so many who have fallen away for whatever reason and a lot of it probably was never intentional they just got out of the will of god they know jesus they've known jesus they know what it's all about you know they've been taught they've learned we need to, to bring them back into the army of god get them where they need to be so we have a stronger army to go out and be disciples right so that's just what the Lord's been showing me. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know, maybe it is hard. It is, it's, it's hard. It's hard to talk to, it's hard to talk to family and friends. And it's at the point now where I'm just, you know. Well, you're afraid that they're going to, most of the most time, friends and family are afraid they're not going to want to talk to you much anymore. Yeah. They're going to, every time yeah. they see you coming, you know, they're going to run. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of way. It, that's kind of way it is. And it's true. And what I'm going to say is, and Trudy's going. To, thanks for joining us, Trudy. I hope you're feeling better. Um, what I want to say about that is, um, you know, we take a risk on getting hurt. We take a risk on pushing them away. But we can, 
we can speak with a soft voice like we just went through the the book of first and second peter and it is like the perfect book to tell you as a christian how we are to present things and how we're doing it you don't go after somebody and drive it down their throat no. you need to be saved no, no. the fire and brimstone no <laughs> no you have to do it softly with concern yeah. and let them know what what with, god is doing in your gentle. life it says, yeah actually says in there with gentle. Gentle. Yep. yeah and that's what we have to do you know we got to be gentle and we got to pray about it we got to be prayed mm -hmm. up before we go out and do this before you ever step outside of your doors and you put on the armor of christ you need to pray and you need to be protected you need to be ready yeah because you know there, there's a lot going on and um and even in with with loved ones dealing with their loved ones you know um if you strike a nerve because they know where they're supposed to be in a walk with, with the lord you know they might strike back because it, you you've you've touched a nerve you've offended them or or you've actually kind of called them out and you know where they're supposed to be so we have to be prepared for that but if we go gently you know i, I don't know I, I don't want to keep driving that home but uh, it, the time is now we really have got to step up and and just seek the lord to see how he would lead us where we got to go and we got to tell people excuse me about the love of jesus christ and words matter and the words do matter words and, matter and and basically i guess what we're getting down to is the word matters the word yeah the word absolutely. with a capital w absolutely yeah it matters it matters most of all being specific does matter also but anyway <laughs> but the word yeah. the word the capital w big w matters that's right and i'm just going to say this while we're out here and we have an audience and hopefully you know folks are listening um you know, if you're not sure that you're still in a walk with Jesus, because we can be saved. I don't believe once saved, always saved. I believe Jesus never leaves us, but we can leave him. We can walk away from him. If you're in a situation and you're not sure, you can pray every night before you go to bed and ask Jesus into your heart. Yeah, I think, Just, you, I think, I think you, you have to, sometimes even during the day. I don't know what kind of day you're having. <laughs> yeah, at any point, you know, he's there, he wants to hear us, and he knows our heart. You know, you want to make sure. If you have that relationship, I mean, once you ask him in, he's there. Yes, he's there. But God, but Satan will put doubt in your mind. It's not yes. God. God's there. God's, God's not going to leave you, but Satan will put doubt in your mind. So if you need to reconfirm that, you know, five times a day because you're struggling with, with doubt or whatever, then you do that. You ask God in your heart and ask him to forgive you your sins. Yeah. But this is the thing that I want to say that's like super important. If you do feel like you straight away, don't wait till tomorrow mm -hmm. because you do not know what tomorrow holds. No. And, and it's a serious thing. Do it right then. Do it right then. And it's a simple prayer. Yeah. And we're going to do that before we end the show. We are going to pray that prayer um, for anybody that's just not sure, you know, because it's important. Um, we don't want to see any of you uh, live in eternity in hell. Um, because you know jesus died for our sins uh, so we wouldn't have to do that so we wouldn't have to no. spend our eternity in hell so do you have anything else no i mean you think it's hot here by a few days it's really yeah. hot there so we don't want to go there no no so. well look let's just pray let's pray, that. let's pray right now um and just pray this prayer after me it's super simple it doesn't have to be complicated mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be long. We're just going to get to the point, okay? So um, repeat after me. Oh, Lord, I love you, Father, and I want you to be my Savior, my personal Savior. I pray you would come into my heart right now and forgive me of my sins and just help me be all I need to be living through you. Thank you for salvation and your grace. Thank you for being my personal savior. I asked it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's just that simple, folks. And if you were somewhere in your life where you didn't think you had Jesus in your heart and you just prayed that prayer, guess what? You're part of the kingdom. 
we're building an army and that's what it's all about we've got to build an army for christ we've got to tell others and we've got to go out and share his good word and if you're already part of the kingdom then your sins have been forgiven that's right every day that's right so because we all sin every day yeah and it's you know there's people out there that, that need to know so share the good news share the word the word the word and capital w and know that there is one Bible, the Holy Bible, mm -hmm. and that's the one you need to be reading. That's right. Wow. So I don't want to. That's it. We're going to end on that because yep. that's a good way to end the show. So, um, you guys be blessed. We're going to put a post up here right at the end of this show mm -hmm. uh, for the clue starting this week, week two, clue one. So uh, check it out. Guess often. Share the page and all that other good stuff. Anyway, and remember, Jesus loves you. That's so, right. All right. We love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the show. And we will see you next week. Watch for our live post. We'll be doing little pop-ups here and there. I got to figure out how to end the show. Because I don't know how to do it. All right, guys. We're going to stop watching. All right. Y'all have a good evening. Love you. Peace. Peace.